Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Talking with Todd. My name is CJ Pierce, and I am joined today by uh, Dr. Todd Hernandez, president of Northwest State Community College. How are you doing, Todd? Good, CJ. How are you? I am doing well. Welcome to 2022. Yeah, it is, in fact, 2022, at least while the people out in uh, viewer land are watching this. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of 2022, we're going to jump head first into the stuff you guys need to know um, going into the new year um, and how that affects you at Northwest State Community College. Yeah, so just a couple of dates I'll throw out there real quick. Uh, January 12th, payments due. Mm -hmm. So if you're registered for classes on January or for the spring term, make sure you pay by January 12th or we could get that whole drop and try and re-register you sequence. So uh, make sure you get payment in. Uh, January 18th, we classes start. So the spring term officially starts on January 18th. I know later in January, we're also doing a data summit and that's part of our Achieving the Dream efforts. Uh, during the fall term, uh, Dr. Brandy Bryson uh, held a number of conversations around the campus and it's really just a trying to get a sense where we are our being mm -hmm. at in being at an inclusive campus because um, we want to be inclusive we want everyone to have an opportunity for education training and services with Northwest State Community College so we'll do that at the end of January as well so just a couple of uh, dates I'll throw out there at you yeah for sure and all those you can find out about all of those at Northwest State dot edu forward slash events um, so all the dates and stuff will be right there as well for all that stuff um, so yeah going into the new semester into spring semester of 2022 um, there's some stuff that students need to make sure they're doing um, before uh, classes start um, so stu students make sure you get your books um, that's really important shout out to Kemp at the bookstore he told us to, to plug his uh, the bookstore on the show as much as we can so there's like quota number one for 2022 um, also, check in with your advisor. I know we have a really great advising team um, here at Northwest State um, that will help you make sure you know where all your classes are, what's going on, if there's anything you need to know, um, you know, going forward with those courses. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah, so just good luck in your courses for the spring semester and uh, we'll, uh, we're excited to see how they all go. So Todd, before we were on air, we were talking a little bit about some of our key initiatives for 2022. Um, and would you like to share those uh, with those that are uh, that are watching, listening? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm really excited for 2022. Mm -hmm. We have a, a, a lot of work to do, but uh, there's, uh, you know, I'm excited about it because it's gonna mean so much for our community and so much for our learners. Uh, part of 2022, or what we wanna do in 2022 is move towards a new strategic plan. We're a year and a half into the current one, that's three years, um, but it takes a while because when we develop a strategic plan, we want input from all of our stakeholders, our, our learners, our staff, faculty, our community. So we'll be working towards a new strategic plan in 2022. Um, the pillars, we still have academic excellence and the second pillar is learning for all. And part of that initiative, learning for all, uh, is achieving the dream and um, we've got a number of initiatives with that as well later in the term in March we're going to do a uh, uh, another type of data analysis on the institutional uh, capacity assessment tool to let us know where we are as well but one of the biggest things and one of the most things that will hit us earliest is uh, we have a new facility in Van Wert we've run into a, a facility in the city of Van Wert and we're going to be launching a over the course of the 2022, a, a new satellite full service campus in the city of Van Wert uh, to learning for all, like geographic access. There's there's learners in Paulding and Van Wert County that really just can't get to Northwest State. It's an hour, hour and a half drive for them. And 25% uh, of our service population live in Paulding and Van Wert County, and they only represent 6% of our enrollment. So we need to do a better job of servicing those two counties, and I'm excited to announce we now have a facility in Van Wert, and uh, there's going to be a lot more coming out on that here in, in just the coming weeks and early in, early in 2022. Yeah, that's super cool. I know that's been something that's been a long time coming. I've heard uh, really for the last couple of years, like, hey, we're going we're gonna to start expan expan expanding our, uh, our service area, having uh, more accessibility for students that are um, that direction. Um, so I think it's super cool getting to see that come to fruition um, here in 2022. Um, so that's super exciting and I know we'll have more news about that in future episodes as we um, 
go cl- further and further into the year. Yeah, here's a thought. Maybe we do an episode. In That's May exactly work. what I was just thinking. Um, we should. We're, we we're should, there. We're right there. We'll have to. We'll have to take a trip um, down to Van Wert and and do an episode down there at some point. Uh, but yeah, that'd be super exciting. I think um, it'll be it'll be cool for all the, the viewers who may not have a chance to go down there or those that may be watching from Van Wert yeah. um, to see the new facility down there. We started community conversations in Van Wert, just kind of what, what do the the residents of Paulding and Van Wert County need? You know, if you project five years, 10 years out, what do these two counties look like? What do they, what do we want them to look like from a, a skill set and education perspective? So look forward to having a lot more of those conversations. Uh, so at this point, I can't even announce what programs we're bringing down mm-hmm. there because I want the community to tell us, what do you need? And then we're gonna go out there and provide that. So. I, um, really excited about that. Yeah, that's super cool. And I know these guys will probably be some of the first to, to hear that stuff, that information about what programs we're um, going to be offering uh, down in Van Wert County, um, too. So stay tuned for all that information, um, mm-hmm. which I'm sure will be coming in the next couple of months. Yep. Um, as we have information, you guys will know it. Um, so, Todd? Do we have anything else for uh, our, our viewers today? No, I hope everybody had a, a wonderful break and recharged and ready for 2022. I'm very optimistic. This, this is gonna be a good year for us. I'm excited about that. I think so too. Well guys, from us at Talking With Todd, Northwest State and behalf, on behalf of all of the crew, happy new year and uh, good luck in your next semester. Peace out. <laughs>